Hey everyone, welcome to a Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak video. In this video, I'll be talking about two things. Well, two things. The prediction of the uh, event that's going to take place a couple of hours from now. I think it's six hours for me. Well, six hours for everyone, but depends on what time it is. For me, it's like 10 to 11 right now. So basically, like six hours for everyone, but the time is going to be different. Um, and I'll also talk about what we could also get for the game itself, because this is our first free title update, you know, and it's going to be pretty impressive to see what they install in this. Now, when it comes to the event, it will be pretty short. I don't expect them to have something so long. Uh, but then again, you don't know, because I think it's perfectly fine for them to talk about the behind-the-scenes stuff. But I kind, kind of doubt they'll talk about it right now. They might talk about it some other time, maybe in the forthcoming uh, events for the other updates. But this one will be pretty short. They will specifically talk about Lucid Nagakuga, which they showed gameplay about. They will talk about this monster uh, a bit more. They'll also, they will also, you know, uh, showcase its armor, possibly. And when it comes to uh, that update, there were also, it also specific, you know, it also was teased that seeding is coming out. Now they will also show seeding gameplay, which is um, which will be interesting, you know. Uh, and they will also talk about two other monsters, which I'm assuming, I'm wildly assuming that the two rats, Golden Rathian and Silver Rathalos, will make a return in this update. A lot of talk about this, you know, uh, it's even been shown out actually uh, by the way spoiler alert I should have mentioned this earlier but someone actually was able to you know find out that you know silver rattalos is in the game basically they had the silver rattalos armor on and it was like oh okay so basically you know the silver and gold couple is arriving in this game now, will there be any more monsters to be shown? I don't think so. If there will be another monster, I do believe it will be a surprise for the game. Because I kind of doubt they'll show all of the monsters. They might do the same thing they've done previously with Basil Gears. You know, how oh, Basil Gears is supposed to be a surprise. You know, uh, because they've never shown, shown him in any of the trailers. So, uh, I'm just saying, it's going to be a pretty interesting, well, um, one monster is going to be a pretty interesting surprise, from my assumption. Once again, it's just an assumption. It's not necessarily something that must happen. I kind of doubt it will happen, but something in me assumes that there might be a spare monster within this within this uh, update that will surprise us for sure, which I will welcome, because I feel like Capcom has teased so much of monsters these days, to a point where I think we've really seen too much of. And it's not like showing a couple of snips, s snippets is a problem. The problem is they go in detail, you know. Uh, you know when uh, Sunbreak was still being teased out? Remember when Sunbreak was still being teased out? I was assuming that they are going to show so little of content, you know, which they basically spread out the teasers very properly this time. But still, you know, they shown all the monsters and in detail as well, besides uh, the final monster, which they showed like a small snippet of. But the rest of the monsters, they showed like 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 30 seconds of clip in each trailer for each of those monsters, you know, which was really annoying to, to be fair because when you sh when you show so much of gameplay of that, like so much, you know, so much and you see so much of one monster, it does kind of water down the, the excitement. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. You know, they, they could have just shown like some of the monsters, like small snippets, and that's it. That done. But regardless, this one is going to be specifically a full showcase, so, you know, you know, you will like be expecting gameplay footage for all of the monsters for the forthcoming event. I mean, for the forthcoming update. Oh my gosh, I keep mixing up my words. Now, what else can I say about this? Uh, it is said that the update will come tomorrow, which is the 10th. Which is kind of crazy, because um, an Australian... Uh, Nintendo company actually leaked it out. Well, not really leaked it out, just mistakenly splurged it out on its description for a trailer. For I think for the Lucent Nagakuga uh, footage, you know, it basically said it's coming on the 10th. That's what they said, so uh, we can just take it up with a grain of salt, 
you know, things might change or things might not even work the way it was written. So I will just say possibly tomorrow it will come out. Uh, that's all I'll say. Oh, there will also, okay, one final thing for the event. They will also at least reveal what's to come for the next uh, uh, title update. If you don't know, you know, they've shown us a full title map, free title map, for basically autumn, uh, no, no, August, uh, fall, which is autumn basically, but I don't know when that is, because, you know, my autumn in my country finished long ago, so I don't really know when autumn is coming for the other countries. And they also had uh, for winter as well. So that's it. You know, they never really specify which month, but I'm sure this time they will specify which month the, f the next forthcoming title will come. Maybe possibly in September or October. I do believe they might take a month break after every title update, but I don't know, that's just me. Regardless, uh, I do believe that they will at least uh, advance the knowledge of what's to come for the next title update, you know? Because it seems pretty interesting that they will do that, you know? Anyways, tell me your thoughts. Have a great day. Bye.